If you have any of the health issues we discuss in this episode, we strongly recommend avoiding garlic. While garlic is often praised for its undeniable health benefits, it's important to remember that individual health conditions can sometimes make it more harmful than helpful. Today, we'll take a closer look at garlic and explore its effects in more detail. Garlic is renowned for its numerous health benefits. It can help stabilize blood sugar levels, particularly in diabetics, regulate and lower blood pressure, and prevent cardiovascular disease, heart issues, and stroke by reducing clot formation. Additionally, it's a powerful antioxidant, antifungal, and antibacterial agent. The benefits are extensive. Regular consumption allows individuals to enjoy these amazing effects, but there are also specific side effects and potential dangers that we'll cover today. At the end of the video, we'll provide solutions and discuss the recommended dosage for certain situations. Who, then, should avoid garlic and why? It may seem surprising, but there are certain individuals who should steer clear of garlic, particularly when it comes to highly concentrated garlic supplements. Number 1. People with GERD. You might recognize it as reflux, but it's technically known as gastroesophageal reflux disease, GERD, a condition that has become increasingly common. Garlic can potentially trigger GERD symptoms, such as heartburn and acid reflux, in some individuals. Those who experience discomfort or worsening symptoms after consuming garlic may need to avoid it or limit their intake. The form of garlic consumed can also impact its effects on GERD. Raw garlic, garlic powder, and garlic supplements are more likely to aggravate GERD symptoms than cooked or processed garlic. Cooking garlic may reduce its potency and lessen its potential to worsen acid reflux. However, individual tolerance to garlic varies, and some people may find they can consume small amounts without negatively affecting their GERD symptoms. Number 2. People on blood thinning medication. Thinner blood is generally beneficial for those dealing with obesity, diabetes, and other conditions. However, garlic also possesses blood thinning properties, which can interfere with the effectiveness of medications like warfarin, aspirin, and other anticoagulants. Consuming garlic while on these medications can heighten the risk of bleeding or easy bruising. If you're taking blood thinning medications and notice that you bruise easily, it's advisable to limit or temporarily stop consuming garlic to monitor any changes. Are you enjoying the video so far? Consider subscribing to the channel to watch more videos like this and help this humble content creator. Number 3. People with digestive issues. I'd consider this the second most common reason people avoid garlic. It's high in fructans and sulfur. This can lead to issues like diarrhea, bloating, and gas, especially if consumed on an empty stomach. A simple way to mitigate these effects is to eat garlic with your meal, perhaps after an appetizer. It's also best to avoid taking garlic supplements first thing in the morning. Number 4. People with certain medical conditions. People with certain medical conditions, such as low blood pressure or hypoglycemia, low blood sugar, should be cautious when consuming garlic. Garlic is known to have hypotensive effects, which means it can lower blood pressure. This effect is due to compounds like allicin, which can relax blood vessels and promote vasodilation. While this can be beneficial for those with hypertension or high blood pressure, it may be risky for individuals with already low blood pressure, particularly if garlic is consumed in large quantities or in concentrated forms like supplements. This can lead to dizziness or even fainting. Similarly, individuals with hypoglycemia should be careful, as garlic may further lower their blood sugar levels, potentially causing symptoms like weakness, confusion, sweating, trembling, or fainting. Number 5. Patients with certain autoimmune diseases. Autoimmune diseases are becoming increasingly common, with many people facing the challenges they bring. Some research indicates that garlic may stimulate the immune system, 
which could potentially worsen symptoms in individuals with autoimmune conditions like rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, or multiple sclerosis. Those affected should consider consulting their healthcare provider before regularly consuming garlic. Number 6. Individuals with Sulfur Intolerance Garlic contains sulfur compounds that can trigger adverse reactions in individuals with sulfur intolerance or sensitivity. Symptoms might include gastrointestinal discomfort, headaches, or skin issues. If you experience these reactions after consuming garlic, it may be best to avoid it. Number 7. Individuals with a history of kidney stones. Garlic contains oxalates, naturally occurring compounds found in many plant-based foods. These oxalates can bind with calcium in the body to form calcium oxalate, a key component of kidney stones. Although garlic is not one of the highest sources of oxalates, it still adds to dietary oxalate intake, particularly when consumed in large quantities or concentrated forms like supplements. Individuals with a history of kidney stones, especially those prone to calcium oxalate stones, should consider moderating their intake of high oxalate foods like garlic to minimize the risk of stone formation. Number 8. Breastfeeding Mothers Did you know that garlic can occasionally alter the flavor of breast milk? This change might cause some babies to become fussy or refuse to feed. Although moderate garlic consumption is generally safe during breastfeeding, if you observe that your baby is rejecting your milk, it may be wise to avoid garlic for a period of time. Now let us talk about the ideal daily dose of garlic. I have an important message for everyone that I learned by experimenting with garlic and garlic supplements. Garlic supplements are nowhere near as potent and beneficial as fresh garlic. So, if you are not in any of the previously mentioned categories and you want to use garlic to reap all of its amazing benefits, here's what you have to do. First of all, never eat garlic on an empty stomach. Also, do not exceed the ideal daily dose, which is one to two cloves per day. Also, keep in mind that cooked garlic loses a lot of its beneficial properties and compounds like allicin and antioxidants. I know that when you are cooking, sometimes it may be harder to calculate how much garlic you will consume. So in general, stick to one to two cloves per person you're cooking for. Do you find this video informative or helpful? Let us know in the comments section below. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on my future videos. Stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next video with more health hacks.